Hey everybody, what is up? Today I'm taking a look at Vendor Plague of Lies, developed and published by Early Morning Studio, came out just a week ago, and it's a classic turn-based CRPG based on the old classics. It's supposed to boast a pretty lore-eccentric world, which is basically what you want from a CRPG. Um, doesn't seem to be anything unique posted on the kind of like a selling point. It's just a CRPG. So let's jump in and see what we've got. Um, we'll go with Mun. And then switch to a female. No. Um, Christian. Adam. Christian. Nico. Adam. Nico. Vuk. Okay, let's go with... Actually, no, I don't want to have to say that. Christian. <laughs> Ooh, the Scarred Man. Not too much difference. Ooh, don't know about that one. We'll go with the default Dan, I think. Good, I think. Uh, what have we got for hair? A top knot. Yeah, looks like we've got a, quite a few choices. Sure. What have we got for beards? We got eight different beards. Let's go with that. Um, we'll go with brown. The plainest looking man in existence. Okay, our lineage. Bandit. Born in the poverty stricken streets of Blood Row, fighting to survive is all you know. Hustling your way through life, the only thing sharper than your favourite knife is your wit. You've got a mean left hook, trust no one, and have a soft spot for cute dogs, although you'll never admit it. That's just a dexterity bonus. Performer, born to a family who have been bards for centuries, you've inherited their confidence and charisma, but also their lack of actual talent. With a gift for charming your way out of trouble, you feel a bad today is just a good story for tomorrow. The Brute. Born with a life-threatening sickness, plague doctors did all they could to save you, dabbling in dangerous experiments. Their controversial approach worked, but not without side effects. They left you strong enough to punch a man unconscious, but too stupid to know you shouldn't. Now, is that actually portrayed anywhere, or is that just like a little lore tidbit? Because <laughs> all it says is five strength. Academic. The child of the Starcross Union of a Plague Doctor and a Sawbones, you were raised with an appetite for knowledge. After their early demise, leading to your adoption to common Galdos peasants, you still sought to learn all you could, appreciating study more than anything else. Uh, so dexterity, charisma, strength, or intelligence. Well, as usual, I am curious about the magic system, so we'll go with intelligence. Like difficulty, we shall go with normal. High difficulties have increased item drop rates. Interesting. It's not something you usually see in a CRPG. And blood shall fall. Tyrant king, he rules us all. Mothers fight, and fathers brave. Sacrificed for once to save. Yet children starve in mortal pang. Fates unfold while bodies hang. Are we monsters? How low we crawl. Tyrant King, he rules us all. Uh, 
Why is she always late? Uh, WASD or move to click and drag. Okay, so that's not what I was expecting. What was this going to be? Yeah, I... One damage rusted broadsword. Pixie. Take this letter. Now, they're following me. Uh... Point out, accepting unapproved posts is illegal. Panic that Hixie's being chased. Um... Panic? King's guards are coming. Here! He forces the letter into your hands. It's finally time. We should tell your sis... Actually, no. Let's not blow Melia's cover. We have to get out of the city, now. We'll be surrounded any second. We need way more. He's the best fighter of us all. Come on. Uh, the icon on the minimap points to the object uh, direction of the main quest objective. Alright. Uh, what are these other icons on the map? Chests. Damaged ring. Halt! Quonk. Quonk? That is an interesting name. By order of King Elric, you will hand over that letter. Not a chance. That letter has been sent by a known revolutionist. You are participating in the facilitation of terrorism. Uh, requires lineage academic. I can do that. Or you could punch him. Okay, that's cool. So, it is good to know that your lineage affects a lot more than just a stat point. Uh, she asked, manipulate him, I guess? But the fact of the matter is, the situation is actually more complex than you think. Long, clever words come flying out of your mouth faster than Quonk can keep up. Oh. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I think that means you're, um, free to go then? I guess? Okay. Interesting. Now, question is... Well, I guess there were only two choices there. I assume the strength one would have also just been, like, knocking him out, so he would have been disabled. So I wonder what the other two choices would have been. I'd get your weapons ready if I were you. Things are about to get hairy. Okay, equip the rusted broadsword. 18, 17 plus 1. Flashing damage. Okay, I do like games and RPGs that give us damage types. Held in any hand and damage scaling. Oh, we've even got a Souls-like system for the scaling. Wait, I don't want to close. I want to equip my ring. Which gives me two vitality. Can I read the letter? Dear my beloved child, the time has finally come. My investigations with the devotees of the cult of He have led me to the first half of an ancient prophecy. One that predicts a divine purpose. For you. Please meet with my colleague Baldwin in Burial by Road. All will become clear. Mother. Okay. That's... That feels like an iPad game, having this. Hmm. I don't know if it has an iOS release or not. Wine. Shrooms. Meat. And there's something hidden behind here, but I can't get through that gap. An axe. Is that better than my sword? Pretty much identical, except it's strength based, okay. Good to know. So, do we have a bigger map? We do. Doesn't look like there's anything else apart from shots. I don't have full health. Oh, this because I just took the ring of extra vitality. There's into space, longingly. Oh goodness, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. I was far too busy daydreaming about the king. I feel so much safer here in the city, where I can trust he'll deal with criminals, you know? Some of the savagery I've heard about that goes outside the walls, it doesn't bear thinking about. Yeah, I don't think the king's good, but sure. Oh, you guys are just in time. Looks at you. You're with the criminal? Draws his weapon. Uh, ooh, okay. 60 charisma. 60 intelligence. Now... Does this game have a new game plus option? Because there is no way in hell that you could possibly make those checks. 
How very strange. By the gods. You draw your weapons. Alright. Okay, so I immediately noticed this. You can't see it because I'm in the way. But, um... This bar here says Limit Break. <laughs> and I immediately noticed that in the screenshots. I was like, Limit Break? I mean, if you're going to have a Limit Break in a game, you could at least maybe rename it to something else. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got Single Attack or Wait. So Waiting gives us 25 focus points or whatever that is, I guess. And Single Attack... Doesn't cost them. Uh, open the skill pop-up by right-clicking a skill. Attack with your primary weapon, dealing 100% weapon damage, no FP cost. Requires a one-handed dexterity weapon, poison an enemy, poison an enemy takes 70 blight damage over 5 turns. Backstab and double attack. Now, I should be able to use these right, because I have enough. Attack the enemy twice with your primary weapon. Attack the enemy twice. Oh. Require one-handed piercing weapon, attack an enemy from the back for 100% weapon damage. Each attack has a 65% chance to trigger another backstab. Max to a, up to a maximum of 5. Sure, that sounds good. And he's weak to that, okay. What can you do? Makes enemies more likely to attack you or taunt you. Set up. Next time the targeted enemy takes damage, the enemy will take an additional 150 based on the incoming damage. Okay. Should be able to just destroy him though, he's pretty weak. How the hell did he hit all three of us? That is absolutely bull. Click your character to switch the current turn. Okay, so there's no specific turn order. Oh, alright, I will. There you go. Um, let's go for another backstab. Why does that look lit up, but these two aren't? I don't quite understand that. King's Guard defeated. Okay, straight into the second fight, and if they can also both attack me, I am in trouble. Uh, yeah, let's try and... No, oh, I only got one off. Let's just attack him, that should be able to... Okay, weak against two things and strong against something. So, is there... Ooh. Is there any variation? 18. No, it looks like we do exactly the amount of damage it says. Uh, let's try the poison. Yeah, let's taunt you, because I don't want you to kill my hero. And you are down. Easy enough. I mean, I say that, my main character did nearly die. Why were the guards after you? I attacked them because they stole something from me. Why are you guys running? What did they steal? The guards are after us as well. The gold I stole from them. Why do the guards want you? Why a letter sent post? Fuck off. Seriously? Do we know where she is? Does the letter say? No, but she's told us where to head next. And we need to leave the city and go there, right now. Given how bad the monster crisis has been, let's grab Algar. We'll need her knowledge of magic shit. Ah yes, magic shit. It sure feels nice to be safe from tortured phantoms, huh? I feel so sorry for the people who live outside the city walls. Jeez, okay, what is going on out there? Ew, look at you. You're all dirty. Yuck. I miss Prosperia. There's none of... Your ilk there. Go away, go on, leave, shoot. I said shoot. What an a-hole. Oh, that's pleasant. Yeah, the city looks really safe and nice. I don't think this is the right way. Disagree, because there's a chest right there. 
Or maybe it's something different. Uh, anything else to loot? Oh, I know. At least let me talk to this guy. Hey guys. Swigs from a bottle of mead. How goes things? That was definitely worth having. Hey. He kisses Algar on the cheek. I'm so sorry, but shit's going down. We need to flee the city. She gently places her hand on Waymore's arm and looks into his eyes. Okay, of course. Anything for you. He looks at you. You three do not seem in apt shape. <sighs> whatever. At whatever journey it is you're about to embark on, I can sense you will need me. Though there is a chance we will be separated. Let me teach you how to craft a healing item. Do you have everything you might need? Yes. Destiny shines on us this day. Let me show you how this is done. Uh, crafting. Gourmet meal. Prepare. Craft the gourmet meal. Close. Open inventory. Eat food. Heal up all 100%. Cool, okay. Um, so... What is this? Dreadful necklace. Dexterity plus 8. Um... What have you guys got? Big cool looking armor. Chevalier. Bridge burner staff. Monk habits. Uh, dexterity. Who... Probably you would benefit the most from dexterity, right? Increases the damage of dexterity, scaling, weapons, and skills. So I'm all intelligence. She's all strength. And she's also intelligence. Um, alright, yeah, let's give that to... You. Quick. Cool. Uh, what have you got for your weapon? 23. Oh, I see. Blunt or slashing. Secondary weapon? Oh no, she's got a shield. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. You better let, uh, you look better, let's head to the gate. I know it's frustrating, hun, but rules are rules. Yeah, yeah. I promise King Elric is just thinking about safety. I don't think he is, somehow. Hey, you, uh, you, um, looking to, uh, you looking to buy a little nose powder, if you know what I mean? Uh, no, thank you. You know what I mean. What, you mean nose powder? <laughs> Not really, uh, covering that up very well. Okay, still can't go that way. How far can we go? Is there anything else? No. Alright, let's go, let's go. Can't wait for all this tortured phantom nonsense to be over with. It's been so long since I've travelled, you know. I want to eat fish and sklom. Buy a pint on the bridge of Union. To be out there among nature for the first time in a long time. Jeez, that is some pretty impressive looking armour. And that is why King Elric has no choice but to announce a formal lockdown. The gates to Galdos are sealed. I am... So very sorry. If I had power, I certainly wouldn't have made such a choice. I am so very, very sorry. But as of this moment, nobody may leave or enter the city. Uh, you have to let us through, please. It's them! The vagrants I was telling you about. Oh no, it's Quonk. <laughs> My arch nemesis. The ones who tricked me with their long words. The ones in contact with an anti-monarchist. Beg or threaten? Don't think threatening's gonna work here. Let's beg. Please, I'm begging. We have to leave. We won't come back in. We'll just leave. I appreciate your frustrations. Let me speak to the king on your behalf. There's every chance I can convince him to... No. 
Excuse me? I am your suit. No. Looks at her apprentice. You, hang back with me. Watch and learn. It's the quonk. You, rip them apart. Is this quonk? It is. My arch nemesis. Resist slashing. Let's give him some poison. Right click on an enemy to view their detailed information, including what they are strong against. Enjoy your poison, sir. Um, yeah, let's set up, I guess. Or should I save my points for the second part? I have a feeling this is going to be one of those mandatory party wipes, to be honest. But she can heal, she can lifesteal, and if she has enough, she can fireball. Let's save up for that fireball. Limit break bar. Some actions fill up the limit break bar. If the limit break bar is full, player party will get an extra turn in full FP bars. Oh, okay. It's an interesting system. And that just filled it up. Oh, so that just automatically happens. You don't get to pick when. Well, that's a risky system. Like if it happens at the end of a fight, that's... Or maybe if it starts again at the beginning of every fight, maybe. Uh, 2 times 31, or potentially 1 to 5 backstabs. Was the right choice. Uh, fireball. Damn. He's strong against blight. Hmm. It's weak to piercing. Speaking of which. One. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, is that for like. Oh, I just assumed it was for her next attack, but it must be for whoever attacks her next. Him, rather. Uh, interesting. Okay. So I need to use her at the beginning of the turn. Bonk. 27. Nice. Here we go. She's going to step in and destroy us. What the f- That staff is amazing. 10,000 health! Good heavens. Yep, she's going to demolish us. Apprentice. I'm already foreseeing this really cool twist where she ends up joining your party, but she's in out of her armor and you don't know it's her. That'd be really cool. Um, is it even worth attacking or else attack her? Pretty sure I know what's going to happen here though. Uh, let's just go for the step. She is not weak to stabbing. Oh, nice. She's weak to something though. Interesting. What is it? She doesn't have enough of fireballs, so I won't do the setup. Uh, I won't bother taunting because she's already taken a lot of damage. Bonk. Yeah, let's uh, wait. Here it goes. Here it comes. What is she going to do? <laughs> oh, just whack me. Okay. Thought she might at least do some impressive spell. Please, I need your help, Melia. Mum needs me. Damn it. Oh, she's, she's our undercover. Back up, now! Oh, interesting. Struggling to catch her breath. We've lost them. Just, they'll catch up. We have to keep going. Get out. The city. Let's visit Redgrave. I have an idea. Uh. Wait, what is going on? So what, those other guys are dead? Are they in prison? What's going on? 
Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have any spells yet. When do I learn a spell? <laughs> Maybe now? Minor heal, there we go. Requires an int weapon. Maybe that's a bit of a problem. Well, I'll unlock it and assume I get one soon? Plague. Look plague on an enemy doing 126 blight damage over 7 turns. Sure. Uh... One an int. One a vitality. Even have an equipment max, it is very souls like, it's kind of cool. Increases the ability to influence other people through conversation as well as improving bartering with merchants. Yeah, let's go with a bit of charisma. Uh, Melia, your strength type. One of strength, one of vitality. Another one of strength. Light. And you shall learn Taunt for sure. Um. Use your weapon in, with a lightning and strike an enemy with 300% weapon damage as lightning and removes Taunt. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting a get a double for now. All right, let's move on. What is she wielding? King's Guard Spear. Sixty-one damage. Oh damn. Red Grave Leak. Uh, no time to, uh, long time no see, Melia. How's the- We don't have time. You still in charge of flashing corpses out of the city walls? Ugh, yes. Long story short, we need you to flush us out. His eyes widen. Oh no. If you're in trouble, I- No, I won't do anything that'll put a mark on me. So, if you pay, give me your best weapons. Your armor, and every piece of gold you have. Hmm, I don't want you to use defenses out there, so- I'll give you some junk I found lying around. Not the best, but enough to hold your own if you know what you're doing. Deal? Wow. Uh, please let us keep more than that? No. <laughs> okay. Beg. Uh, no, this flushes out. Keep my dignity. My genuine pleasure. Give me all you got. Then toss yourself down there. Oh, and uh, don't get to hold your nose. You. I should have turned on Penelope sooner. I, I held my punches, didn't want to blow my cover, but, but I didn't think Penelope would... would... I thought... I thought she'd arrest you all. What's this about Mum? What happened? Mum finally sent a letter. You remove it from your pocket and read it out aloud to Melia. Yeah, yeah, we already read that. Blah, 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 blah. And it's not your fault, you know. They're deaf. The letter doesn't say that. I'm saying that. The letter doesn't say that. I'm saying that. Mum asked you to hide among the King's Guard. Acting too soon would have blown your... She killed them. I could have stopped her, right? We need to get back in there. And... and... Kill the King. That's who she gets her orders from. Penelope did what she did because the King... He... You have no idea what he's planning. I've learnt things on the inside. We... we have to... Found out something big. Crown is looking to sell a bunch of shit off to another continent. Key assets. It's going to cripple the kingdom. Plunge us into chaos. Without King Elric cares. We'll just take the gold and flee. Guess he knows rebellion is brewing, so making a break for it and screwing the rest of us as he does. So many other people will suffer. Die. Like way more and... The king has to die. Pen Penelope has to die. Uh, but lightly tell her she should focus on the instructions from Mother. Bluntly tell her you should focus on the instructions from Mother. I'll be polite. Yeah, you're angry and upset. So am I. 
but overthrowing the king's rule because of his actions is exactly what the devotees of the cult of he are trying to do. Let's not rush this. Let's do as mum wants. The end goal will still be vengeance for us. Yeah. Yeah. She snatches the letter out of your hand. You're right. She scans her eyes over the letter. Bolwyn? Is that all we've got to go on? Let's talk to Carver. He's in charge of the by road. He'll have a I'll lend a hand. Okay, so got a healer. I don't really need. Looks you up and down. Someone roughed you up, eh? Since you're new around here and I prefer my customers alive, I'll heal you free. Don't get used to it though. Thank you. Cool. Uh a scriptorium book. That sounds like lore, is it? These books belonging to the monastery chronicle all known Viridian history, Vendirian history. Each a brief window into times gone by. Quest item. Ooh, crappy faceless and egg bandages. Just what I always wanted. Damaged peasant pants. Yield. Um, let's have a look around before we talk to these guys. Ooh, blood tear cane. I think that's exactly what I needed. Madam Slice. Looks you up and down. Yeah. No need for you here. You're like a twitchy virgin. Because you need to get fucked. <laughs> Jesus. Dear lady. Boodoos Curus. Curas. Um, what are these wells? Oh, water. Mork. My mum used to say if you threw a coin down this well and made a wish, that wish would come true. He tosses a coin down the well. Wish you'd leave me alone! Whoa! Sensing some hostility here. Just, just a subtle vibe, you know? Stares into the distance, wistfully. Me too. Okay, so the green things are just ingredients on the map. An apple. Okay, I don't think we really want to be in the by road. I wonder how battles work. Do they play random encounters or? Um, I don't want to equip my stuff until I finished looting. How do we get to the one behind here? You're a side quest? You better have a fantastic excuse for wasting my time. I'm busy. Do you have any work we could take on? Oi, you. We've been having a bit of a rat problem around here. Of course you have. It's a beginning RPG. You can't resist the, uh, they can't resist the smell, you see. It's driving me mad. I hate the things. One of them stole my homemade cheese that last night. It took me months to make that. Months. I'll happily fling you some coins if you could kill a few of the blasted things for me. How does five sound? You'd really save my bacon if you helped. Uh... Point out the cliche of rat killing, yes. Kind of cliche to ask new folk in town to kill rats for you, don't you think? Ha. Huh. You can tell you're from the city with fancy words like cliche. Let's just say it's a way of testing if you might be able to handle something a little more risky. You win. We'll do the job. Cool, alright. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Please go away. Bye. Bye. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Shrlip, sip, shrlip, sip, yeah, okay, we got it. Uh, can you speak Wylonian? I think this is going to be very important later on. Maybe. Cool. Alright. <laughs> Bye! Strength potion. A club. Oh, there's stuff out there. Am I at risk? 
Are you a bad man? McIntyre. Nervously looks away, refusing to engage. Okay. Small damage gem. Rat meat. Oh, my god. What are you? Oh, my god. Oh. She? She looks away, not wanting to make eye contact. Uh, okay. Fuck. I'm intrigued by this world. <laughs> Oh, the sun is shining. It's a lovely day. Soon my pain will go away. I said the sun is shining. It's a lovely day. And soon my pain will go away. Okay. Crazy. Alright, let's equip what we have found. Magical armor. First, do I want to share this around? This is all magical armor and no physical. That could be risky. Oh no, hang on. Not you. I'm the mage. Uh, arcane. Intelligent scaling, excellent. That's a little scepter. Uh, he needs a shield. Damage Rusty Mace 19, 22, Luck plus 12. Also used by Bridge Burners. So I wonder what the Bridge Burners are. Maybe a secondary, okay. Look at her, Budding Warrior already. That's the same. Hmm. Augment weapon by plus three damage. Duration 15 minutes. Okay. So it's not like a turn based thing. That's interesting. Uh, Alright. Let's go see what the main quest is about. Carver. Oi, you two. Mind telling me what, who you are exactly? I don't, uh, don't recognize you. Okay, we can lie if we had enough charisma. Are you in charge around here? In theory. That's what people say at least. But I asked you a question. Uh, it's a little bit vague. How much truth is the truth? Are we saying that we're going to go meet the cult? Uh, sure, tell the truth. We're from Galdos. We escaped during the lockdown. We're looking for someone called Volwyn. Ugh, city folk, yeah. Well, you're in for a shock. I'm Carver the Second. This is Burial by Road, and I seem to have found myself in charge of it, so... It's a shithole. But it's my shithole. And we're close around here. A community. Don't be screwing that up. Don't suppose you know where we might find this Volwyn? I know Volwyn. Don't know where she'd be, but I know who might. How's a favour for a favour sound? Hmm. Tell you what, I've got a man stationed in all four corners of town. Each one is in charge of a torch. And I was going to swing on by and tell each of them to light up, but, uh, you'd be doing me a huge favour if you spread the word for me. Do that and I'll send you in the right direction. Why do they need to light up the torches? It doesn't matter to you. It's to send a signal to certain people who need to see a signal. Don't worry about it. Just get it done. Sure, where am I killing these rats? Hey, I thought... Ah, so... What did I equip her that gave her extra health? Because her health is not full. Oh, the leg bandages gave her vitality. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, where are the rats I'm supposed to be killing? They're just out in the wild. Okay, is the first torch guy the twitchy man out in the middle of nowhere? Oh! Oh, there is random battles! Oh my god, we're playing a JRPG. And so, I can now do Plague. Sure. Get plagued!
I feel very weak. Let's block. Strong against blight, of course it is. Weak to three things and I don't have them. Oh, not quite enough. Poison, thank you. No loot. Yeah, it's really an interesting combat system for a game like this. Wow, I am so lucky that I ran out here, collected this stuff, and did not get into a battle while I didn't have any armor and weapons equipped. That would have been awkward. And vitality, and... What's luck just critical, I assume? Increases the amount of gold looted from enemies as well as the chance of enemies dropping items. Well, it actually doesn't affect crit rate at all. Interesting. Something else do that? Interesting. Strength is just strength scaling. Uh, let's go double in on luck. Uh, intelligence, rather. Do, 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 do. Thrive on decay. Anytime an enemy is inflicted with negative statuses, gain 5 FP. Hmm. Okay, so we can actually kind of spec into stuff. Plague Doctor, an intelligence based healer that studies the plague. Necromancer, an intelligence based healer capable of cheating death. Pyromancer. Voodooist. Is this supposed to be Voodooist? Intelligence based DPS wielding the power of flame. Wildcard class that can create powerful links. Thief, Stalker, Tinkerer, Warrior, Masochist, Vanguard. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, um. Ooh. Meteor shell. Gasoline. Troll burn. Phoenix divest. Exploding corpses. Immortal. True blood revival. I'm a sucker for necromancer glasses. Eye infection. Ooh, a greatest ability. Barely alive. Cure all. Ah, uh, so which way do we have to go? Yeah, right. Let's go with that. And you, my dear, are definitely going to be a vanguard, I think. Yeah, let's go with exhaust. Oh, actually, I want to do the strength-based weapons first. Let's stop their normal strength. Vicky Witch. Double in strength. One in vitality. Okay, you, sir. There's an untightened rope dangling around his neck. Oh, you're not the same guy. Wait. Wait, was he there? Was he there last time and I walked straight past him? Okay. Rat hole. Ah. Oh, yes, the rat hole. That kills five and it's four. Okay. Uh, let's just. Attack, I guess. Uh. Okay, weak to bludgeoning. Good to know. Could plague the one on the end, I suppose, and then just focus on the ones from left to right. Bonk. She can finish up that one. Or not.
Can I? I don't think I can use that number keys. I'm not sure what the number keys do. Each of them all highlight the first one. Oh man, this guy's dodging everything. How did he become plagued then? Oh, is that like a thing? If like a plagued enemy dies, if they spread the plague to the next person, that's pretty cool. Uh, so what is there another rat cave? Rat infestation, journal updated. Ah, okay, there's two spots. Fair enough. Oh, that was... Oh, I was tracking the wrong quest. Might as well stop by and get healed. While it's still free. Wrong way. Okay, you a torch person? Everything okay? Carbon needs you to light up your torch. Oh really? Huh. Fair enough, I'm on it. Thank you. So... On track. So I am tracking them both at the same time? Darius, I'm dead. I'm dead. I am so dead. Uh, calm down, what's going on? I promised my dad I'll collect firewood for him and I fell asleep and now there's no way I can find enough in time on my own. It's gonna kill me. I don't want to die. I have things to do tomorrow. I can't die. Uh, do you want help? Are you sure? Oh my, Al Alphalusa? Yes, yes please. If you could just find three bundles of firewood for me, I'll find the rest. I'll pay you a hundred gold? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll find a few pieces nearby, but there are some scattered all around. Be sure to look all around the area surrounding Burial Wire Road. Like this? Cool. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the deal? Do you think these, uh, pits of, uh, dead rats? Uh... I think it's just a pile of dead rats, mate. <laughs> yeah, but like, why are they all here? I know, it's just, it's given off like, a funny vibe. Are you sensing a funny vibe? You should look into it, but uh, maybe don't put too much effort in. Feels like the sort of thing you might not have an answer to for a really long time. What? <laughs> what? We're actually here because Carver wants you to light your torch. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll do. Hey, Georgie. Uh, what else can I make? Can I make flour? Can I? Hooray! I can make bread. Um, can't make anything else, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, what does bread even do? 50% health? Upgrade. Ah, oh, so I could literally put that gem in. Well, it seems a bit of a waste on, like, the basic items. Anise. There's a skull on the map. Ah, oh, more rats. These ones aren't going to count, though. Same tactic. Their tiny teeth do so much damage. Not. 
That's annoying. Not quite gonna have enough. Two damage short of one shotting him. Of course. Oh no, yeah, I do. They're weak to it though. Or did he have 58 health here? Don't mind me. Just going crazy. Wow, he's taking one damage from the plague. Wham. I like specking into plague at the beginning of the game might not be the best idea. Huh. Was convenient. Mmm, rat meat. Delicious. Uh, skull. Skull is literally a skull. Bunch of skulls. Guardian of the by road. Saving. An indescribable energy emanates from the statue, drawing you towards it. An odd chill prickling at your skin. Fuck. Something feels weird. She looks at the statue. But I can't resist the temptation to pray. Is that weird? Do, do you feel that? Pray. <laughs> the thoughts of something trapped between the shadows leaks out of the world. You know, burrowing into your mind. Well, into the world, you know, burrowing into your mind. This land, this soil, you, disrespect all it was. Insult with, uh, insult with it. Insult it with what you've made it. Honor nature is to end you. Preparing for slaughter! Yay! <laughs> Guardian of the by road. Okay, you're gonna de decimate me. Not if I plague you first. That'll put a stop to you, sir. There, I've even got your weakness. You're dead. Wow, you're letting me live one turn, thanks. <laughs> Wrapped. Wow, that's a powerful plague. Chance to dodge is decreased by 20%. Okay. Pretty much I heal. Not much. Wow, does it, all he do is like debuffs? Hack me, you coward. End it! No, of course I- <laughs> Of course I blocked it! Ooh, what was that? Done. There we go, thank you. Game over. So that's what your guts look like. What a game over screen. Hmm, interesting. That definitely means we're coming back here later in the game, then. What does the map look like? Hmm, okay, pretty... Pretty big. I guess this is one area. Okay, well, I might draw my conclusion there. Um... We'll say it's mixed. Giving it some leeway for being in indie, though. Because, yeah, graphics... I can't make my mind up. The character models are pretty... Pretty not great. <laughs> but sometimes the environment looks really good. And the uncanny, like, oh my god, that creature that we saw, even though it was technically, like, a low... Low? Peasants. Peasants. Uh, even though it was, like, low poly... The design on it was pretty amazing. Um, sound? Actually, pretty good. I don't. I quite like the um, the battle music in particular stands out. Like this, graphics-wise, this is even this is a mixed bag. I like the texture work on the plants, but overall, it still just has this kind of. 
amateur look. I don't know. It's so it's such a weird blend. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not concentrating. I'm too busy trying to do my conclusion. Um, and as for gameplay, like I said, I definitely like the fact that you can that your um thing that you chose at the beginning, your lineage has definitely has def uh, effects. They've also got your stats coming into play. I don't know how I feel about the stats being a combination of your party. Rather than specking one character and having that character do that task for you, it almost feels like you... I don't know if specking one character into a, a particular skill is enough to carry over those decisions, or do you have to... Put a bit of charisma in all your characters if you want to have a charismatic party. That's a bit of a drawback. I don't know. I don't know how it works though. In the long run. Um Wasn't expecting the JRPG style combat. That was a surprise. That was very um unexpected. It works though, I think. Um the battles. The combat feels good. I like the system of waiting to build up uh, your FP to do uh, specific attacks and all that. Uh, what else about the combat? I like the skill trees. They seem pretty interesting. It's not just a warrior, thief and mage. They each kind of branch off into their specialties. Don't know how many characters we're going to be dealing with. I suppose there is potential for you having a terrible party build and halfway realizing halfway through the game and being like, well, shit, <laughs> I'm kind of screwed now. But I don't know. All in all, I do like the gameplay and the combat and the skill trees. Uh, I'm not sure if the story is grabbing me. I'm intrigued by the world, but not the storyline, I think would be the way to put it. This world definitely does seem to be very dark, which I kind of go for. Uh, and I like how it's not kind of just blurting out what's going on. You kind of have to figure it out. But the whole, like, evil king plot line is, I hope, hopefully they do something interesting with that. Um, Hopefully it's heading in a good direction. I'm kind of intrigued by finding the cult and seeing the cult of he and seeing what that's about. Yeah, I don't know. All in all, it's definitely... I recommend it, but I'm not sure if it's going to go the, the long yard, basically. So it's a tentative recommendation at this stage. I just haven't played enough to do a full recommendation. But it has definitely intrigued me. So yeah, with that, I'll say like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's any other games you want me to cover. Let me know if there's any feedback to improve the channel. I'm always happy to receive any kind of feedback to improve things. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.